Investors are holding their breath as approximate results of the U.S. presidential race will be announced soon. Why approximate? Many states will not be able to provide final results on Tuesday night due to a large number of mail-in votes. Such delays are only increasing the likelihood of contesting the election results and future political turbulence. Wall Street may fall prey to extremely high volatility, as it has already been once in 2016. Back then, the daily range of the Nasdaq Composite Index might vary within 500 points. During the presidential campaign, Democrats and Republicans have failed to agree upon a new stimulus package due to the ongoing confrontation between the two parties. If Donald Trump is not re-elected, the discussion on the stimulus bill will be postponed at best till the end of December. However, Biden is currently leading the polls and the pessimistic mood has swept through Wall Street. Traders fear that the grim forecast on a new coronavirus relief package is likely to come true. As a result, last week turned out to be the worst since March. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 5.65%. Biden's victory will also boost uncertainty about how the government is going to solve economic problems. The presidential campaign occurred at the time of the pandemic and the candidates did not discuss or clarify measures that they would choose to improve the economy. If investors can predict more or less Donald Trump's possible actions, Joe Biden is a wild card. Apart from the presidential election, the stock market is swirling with the different events that have a significant impact on the market sentiment. Traders are worried about the epidemiological situation in Europe and the US. The officials stress that they cannot curb the spread of the virus due to the cold weather in autumn and winter, when large groups of people prefer gathering indoors. This is why the governments are considering the possibility of reimposing the lockdown, which is the bearish factor for the stock market. Among giant corporations, Apple shares showed a negative dynamic last week. Despite a better-than-expected earnings report, Apple stock fell by 5.8% after the company announced a sharp drop in demand for iPhones in China. Analysts say that the company is unable to compete with the high-tech giants in the Asian market. So the development of Apple 5G smartphones took much more time than those of Xiaomi, Huawei and Samsung, which introduced their 5G devices last summer at more affordable prices. However, analysts believe that investors should buy up Apple shares now while their price is lower than usual. Their forecast is an upward correction and the subsequent growth of the price. Facebook securities also notched a considerable decline, despite a 22% spike in the company's third quarter revenue. If not for the presidential election and market uncertainty, Facebook stocks could soar up. At the end of the week, Facebook losses totaled almost 7.5%. Among the tech giants, only Alphabet, the parent company of Google, was able to close the week with gains, although this was not enough to recoup the losses incurred at the beginning of the week. The decline in stocks was caused by market pessimism amid probable political turbulence. At the end of the week, Alphabet shares lost just over 1% of their value. You've watched the weekly review of financial markets together with us on Insta TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to always keep track of all the latest news from financial markets. See you back soon.